Um, my name is Kim Evans, and um, I've always worked in the healthcare field. I started out as an endotech um, for gastroenterology group, and the last two years I've been working as a receptionist there. You know, I like to um, scrapbook and ride bikes, walk, walk my dogs. I also spend time with family, though. Um, I'm Carolyn, I'm Kim's aunt, and I feel very close to Kim. I believe we've been a, a real source of comfort to each other in, in some recent hard times. My husband and I were married 15 years. He ran a business and worked at Ford, and he was a fire chief for 37 years. Really good guy, and um, he started acting a little different, and uh, made an appointment to go to the doctor, and they discovered a tumor in his brain. He was diagnosed with brain cancer, um, stage four, or grade four, they call it. What she went through with her husband was just, it was awful. He you know, went through bouts of infection that um, really shouldn't have happened, I don't think. It just seemed so unfair, and he was so gracious through it all and um, amazing, he never complained. And Kim was right there for him. She stayed at the hospital day and night for, uh, I think she said a full two weeks. But after that, I mean, she would be there and come home for long enough to take a shower and then be back. And um, it honestly, it seemed like every time she left, everything fell apart. They gave him 16 months, but he lasted 12. So um, he spent about three months in the hospital with infection, um, so. That was a long 12 months. Long but yet short. <laughs> and he was diagnosed August 12th of 2013 and passed away August 15th of 2014. <laughs> and then five months later, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. When I found out that Kim had breast cancer, I was angry. Her husband was her best friend. And, and that is true. That's, you don't, you don't see that a lot, and that's kind of the feeling that I had is, why does it happen to couples that are really happy? And for her to be able to keep her spirits up the way she did was um, admirable, to say the least. Really an inspiration, I think, to a lot of people around her. It's, you know, it is emotional. It is. It's physical, definitely. Um, financially, it's devastating. I think the medical bills that she's faced with are um, outrageous. To have to worry then, you know, you're going through this, and you're going through this without your husband, and then you're having to figure out how am I going to pay for all this. I mean, you get a bill for $2,000 for two weeks of chemo. I don't have that kind of money. You know, I don't know anybody that does that can afford $1,000 a month or $1,000 a week. You know, by the time you get your chemo and the um, all the other drugs that you get, it's, it's just, it's out of sight. And thankfully I've got great employers that saved my job. So I still have a job. Kim has really blazed a trail for, <laughs> for a lot of people that, um, that know her. I say get your mammograms because they do save your life. If I would have skipped another year, I could wind up with stage four, you know, and have to have chemo the rest of my life. So um, that's the one thing is to get your mammograms when you're supposed to, don't blow them off. You know, I know there are lots of people out there that are in similar situations. Definitely, you know, financial support from, from those who can um, are, is, is, can be extremely helpful to families that um, are struggling. You know, given to a charity, you know, they say everybody leave a little and you can help a lot. She doesn't, she doesn't want to be that person who isn't paying their bill. She's not that kind of person. She, she wants to be on top of things and it's, it causes her extreme amount of stress. His motto is, it is what it is, I'm in God's hands. And that's pretty much what, you know, what I've, I've always said too. It is what it is, right?